Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday. It's Ferlici Friday. I'm Amy Ferlici and I'm so happy to be here and happy to welcome any new stamping friends that are joining us on Facebook Live today. We are gonna have some fun as usual. We always have fun around here, I think, and I hope you guys think so too. Today, we are going to be playing with, this is the Softly Sophisticated Stamp Set. This is a stamp set and actually, hi Susan, welcome, welcome. I should grab. I didn't actually use, oh no, maybe we're using it. Sorry, I was gonna grab. So there's an embossing folder that goes with this softly sophisticated stamp set. I think we're using it at class today. So it's already all set up at church because I'm doing Facebook Live and then we're heading down to church to um, have classes. So anyway, but as I digress, as usual, we are playing with, <laughs> with this stamp set, the softly sophisticated stamp set. There's an embossing folder that goes with it. You can get the stamp set and the embossing folder for free during celebration with a $100 order. We are not using the embossing folder today. I'm sure I've uh, shown it on previous Facebook Lives. If not, check it out. You can see it um, at stampinup.com. But stamp set is beautiful. Uh, and yes, you love the embossing, all embossing folders. I know, I know they add such great texture to your cards, don't they, Susan? Hi, Philomena, and welcome. So great sentiments in here. We've got the cute little hello there. Uh, you're in my thoughts. I, we can always use that sentiment, right? And then I really appreciate you. That's another great sentiment too. And then if you guys can see, I'm sure you've seen, but if you haven't, you can kind of, um, it's like a two-step stamping maybe where you would stamp this image and then that one kind of fits inside. Same, actually, no, let me think about that. It's the other way around. This one and you stamp those inside of there, and then this one, and then you stamp these kind of inside of here too. So it's very, very cool stamp set. Hello, and thank you for fil uh, sharing, Philomena. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I have to like calm down. I was um, like running around like, oh my gosh, I gotta get to Facebook Live. So yeah, I just need to like take that moment to chill, right? Hi, Susie, welcome, welcome. Um, so yes, we're using this stamp set, but we I paired it with, this is the light and airy designer series paper another beautiful item that you can get for free during celebration this paper you can get it's uh six by twelve I, I only have a partial sheet of that guy right there um but diane hello and welcome welcome you can get this for free during celebration as well so that's one side right oops as that kind of like flaps down there and then we'll flip it over and you guys can kind of see the other side too so beautiful beautiful paper i've seen lots and lots of projects made with this probably everybody has it already hopefully you do if not Get it while you still can. Celebration is going on through now through the end of the month. So you have, let's see, one, two, we got like about three weeks left of celebration. So you still got some time. If you haven't gotten that stamp set and embossing folder, softly sophisticated, or the Flight and Airy Designer Series paper. We also have some new items to celebrate with. So they say we have more to celebrate. Teeny tiny little print brochure here. I'll flip the camera down so we can see it a little bit closer. But these are, um, oh awesome, made a card yesterday. We'd love to see it, Susan. Love for you, snap a picture and post it right here on our Facebook group. You know you get entries into our Facebook Live drawing if you do that. So we'd love to see what you created with that um, beautiful designer series paper. So in the meantime, we have, oh my gosh, let me put my glasses on so I can read this tiny print. We have the Beside Me Cling stamp set. So again, these are all, I always have to do this, these are all items that are in the, I think they're probably all in the annual catalog, so you can see them. Thank you, Susan, I'd love that. Um, but they're different, they wanted to make sure everybody knows they're different item codes, which I think probably if you go to stampinup.com and order, um, you don't even have to type in an item code, you get to like just select from things, but just know that don't try to type the item code in that's in the annual catalog because you'll be buying it when you can get it for free if you use the celebration item code. But again, when you go to stampinup.com, put your order in, then the next step is to pick your celebration items and so they're just pictures of everything. So then you'll get it for free, okay? Um, so let's see, so we've got the Beside Me Cling stamp set, the Botanical Layers Cling stamp set, the Delightfully Eclectic Designer Series paper. Now that is the huge pack uh, of like, 
is it like 30 sheets of 12 by 12 designer series paper? So that is an awesome value. Then also the Just Kidding designer series paper. Love this memory notebook kit, Robot Buddies card kit, stripes and splatters embossing folders, sweet thoughts, memories, and more cards and envelopes. The 2023 new core color stamp and write markers. I don't think I have those yet. So I'm like, I'm totally gonna be getting those. And then the Dragonflies punch. Actually, both of those are free. The markers and the Dragonflies punch are free with a $100 order. Hello, Miss Bonnie. Thanks for sharing. So like I said, we'll flip that down. I kind of went through a quick, you know, uh, run through of that. You're not going to be able to see much better than what, except it's backwards, right? But just know there are more things to choose from. If you thought you got everything that you wanted during celebration, now there's more stuff that you can pick from too. So just keep that in mind. Um, let's see. Oh, I wanted to make sure everybody knew I finally, I feel like I'm really late to the game here. Um, finally decided and decided to like share it with everybody, which was kind of silliness. My one day crafting retreat right here in Alma is happening on Saturday, April 20th, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. It's at the Peace Lutheran Church. That's where I do all my classes and events now. Um, <clears throat> basically, it's an awesome day where you get to come bring whatever projects you want to work on. Hello, Mr. Mike, maybe you want to join us at the next one day crafting retreat. Mark your calendar on Saturday, April 20th. If not, I could always use your help setting up and cleaning up. <laughs> wink, wink, wink. I can't really wink. So that's as good as it's going to get. But yeah, so one day crafting retreat. Uh, basically, I spoil you with lots of you get a goodie bag. Actually, I kind of put everything out right on your table. I don't even put it in a bag because I figure most everybody has so many bags these days. So um, but yeah, so you get a goodie bag. So basically a bunch of free product. This part of your day, we do make and takes that feature product from your goodie bag. I also make cute little table treats. So there's always something on your table, a little like welcome gift in the morning. And then I put another gift out in the afternoon for you. We have lots and lots of food. Basically, you will not go hungry on this day. We've got a little breakfast bar. We've got lunch. We've got dinner. We've got snacks out all day long. So whenever you need a little pick me up, we've got that. I always have lots of displays and samples out too. So if you need some creative ideas, those are there as well. Well, the just the camaraderie and fun of everybody all crafting together. It's like a glorious day. So we'd love to have you join us again on Saturday, April 20th from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. If you have any questions, please let me know. The link to all of the details is above this Facebook Live video after I get it uh, posted this afternoon, okay? And then also bingo, we're playing bingo. And all of a sudden, I feel like I've been talking about this one for a while. And all of a sudden, <clears throat> excuse me, RSVPs are due next, or this Monday, like in a couple of days, Monday, February 12th, right? Is that what my, where, where does it say that? It's on my flyer somewhere. Oh my gosh, yeah, Monday, February 12th. Yeah, so this Monday, RSVPs are due for bingo. So this is another awesome event. It is on Thursday, February 22nd, uh, again, at the Peace Lutheran Church here in Alma. It's a live bingo night. So basically, we, we play bingo for Stampin' Up! prizes, um, and then we also do some make and take. So you play bingo, and you get to craft. So it's like the perfect night, and you win stuff. And I always give everybody a little table treat there as well, a cute little gift and you, everybody gets a little gift from me. So no one goes home a loser. Even if you don't win a prize, well, actually, if you don't win a prize at all in bingo, you get to take two free cards home um, off of my displays. Uh, so I never let anybody go home empty-handed. Um, so in terms of prizes, you either win product, you win um uh, cards that are on display for me. I always give you gift and then there's like a little goodie bag of stuff. So it's an awesome, awesome evening. Great way to kind of come and see what stamping is all about. Uh, that's one of the things that I think a lot of people like to come new people um, who haven't uh, tried stamping or one of my stamping events. Uh, that's what I find people love to kind of come and check that out because you just make two cards. We just do uh, two make and take. So it's a good balance of bingo and game playing and card making and it's lots and lots of fun. So again, Thursday, February 22nd is our next live bingo night right here in Alma and RSVP and payment are due by next Monday. So just a few days from now. And I have tons of room. So I have room for everybody. As many people as want to come can come. And then the more people that come, the more prizes we have to give away too. So that's kind of exciting also. So 
All right, let's see what else, what else do we have going on? Um, oh, I just want to make sure, um, <clears throat> celebration, celebration, celebration. I want to make sure everybody is kind of aware of this. I just posted, these are the people that already have earned their spot at the celebration, celebration event. I'm still, people are asking, when's it going to be? And I'm, I need to like finalize details with the church just to make sure the date that I have in mind is available. But I'm, I'm uh, working on that now. So as soon as I know for sure when the celebration, celebration event is, I will let you know. So these people have already earned their spot at this fun event. So Cheryl Hall, Iris Henrys, Roseanne Lafreniere, Stacy Decker, Carla Dilly, and Donna Fleisch Hacker Porter have all earned their spot at Celebration Celebration. Now, if you're wondering, this awesome event where I spoil you with free make and takes, uh, cute little gifts, treats, there's a buy one, get one free event that day, um, snacks, just lots and lots of fun. It's basically a thank you event for your support of my Stampin' Up! business during Celebration. These are the ways that you can earn your spot there as well. So number one, if you host a private Celebration party or class, we still have time to get something on the calendar if you're interested in that. Basically, just find a bunch of friends that want to get together and stamp, and I do everything else. You just have to find the people that want to do it with us, right? So that's one way. Purchase the starter kit is another way, or if you spend at least $150 through me during celebration, which is basically all of January and February, you earn your spot at celebration celebration. If you are long distance or you're not able to attend, I put your make and takes together for you and I send you your prize and your treats. So I'll mail everything to you. So again, if you're not able to make it or you're long distance, I make sure to get you everything um, that you would have gotten if you had been able to attend the live event, okay? Um, 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 um let's see, what else, what else? I think we are ready. I have like all these teeny tiny notes, so I've gotta like, I should have written bigger and I didn't. Okay. Yep. So we talked about that. RSVPs. Yep. Yep. Okay. I think we're good. Just had to make sure. Don't want to miss anything, right? Okay. So we are going to do our drawing. This is our first drawing for, and I just shared these. Everybody was commenting about how beautiful and sparkly they are. And they are, they're the beautiful. These are the iridescent foil gems. I think I feel like we maybe had some champagne gems at one time that these seem, and these seem super champagne-y down here. It's funny. I think it's just the light, right? But these are a larger gem and those are a little bit smaller one. But uh, lots and lots of entries because I've upped the ante here on how you can get your name in this. Wait, there's my Stampin' Up! logo, right? I gotta have that. Oh, and actually, doesn't it go really nicely with my University of Michigan National Champ t-shirt. I've been waiting and dying to. <laughs> you used them on your card yesterday. Awesome, Susan. So yes, I've been like so excited to wear the shirt. I, um, let's see. Oh, we were out of town last weekend. So down in the Detroit area, we went to see Dancing with the Stars at the Fox Theater, which was absolutely beautiful and so much fun. We got, <laughs> yes, go blue. That's right, Susan. Uh, we got to stay at this beautiful ho Shinola Hotel, which was just down the street from the Fox Theater, so we could walk everywhere. So that was awesome. And then the next day, we went to Ann Arbor, and uh, Mike, my boyfriend, uh, was a wrestler like in high school and college, so he loves wrestling. I know absolutely nothing nothing about wrestling, uh, but we went to the University of Michigan, Iowa wrestling meet in Ann Arbor on Saturday night. So I had to sport like my maize and blue. And so I decided I'm gonna wear my national championship t-shirt here, right? Um, but yeah, so it was actually really cool because I didn't really know anything. Like I said, didn't know what to expect, but he was very good at like explaining everything to me because he's pretty knowledgeable about it, right? So it made it much more enjoyable and interesting. And the really cool thing was Kelly Ripa, like Kelly, Kelly Ripa, her youngest son wrestles for University of Michigan so she and her husband were like down basically like kind of court mat side I guess instead of court side right at basketball it's mat side so um got to see it and I feel like we're friends now right I mean <laughs> I was way up in the stand but I was like oh yeah Kelly and I were at the wrestling meet together the other night <laughs> 
<laughs> so anyway, it was just kind of like my little, um, not really brush with fame, but it was just kind of fun. I saw the back of her head basically for the whole meet as she was watching the game and clapping and enjoying herself. So, or not game, but the meet, the meet. Yeah. So, so yes, that's why I'm wearing my Michigan gear. Cause I'm like still like totally saluting our national champions, right? Hello, Miss Brenda. And I realized that like I matched too. So that's kind of how this whole thing got started, right? Okay. So names, lots of names are in here. These are all of the ways I've been trying to share because I get confused. I'm sure you guys get confused if I can't even remember all the ways you can get your name in the drawing. So if you share the Facebook Live, I'm going to grab a quick sip of water. Mm. I get a little catch in my throat and I'm like, oh no, I have a lot of talking left to do. Okay. So share the Facebook Live video. This one right here, you'll get your name in the next drawing, right? If you share it to a crafting group that you're a part of, you get five entries into the drawing. Share my latest class to go kit post, which I've got another one. I kind of like had not been, I hadn't had time for a little while to put a class to go together, but I have an awesome one that I'm going to share with you guys. Um, and so share that post and you get an entry in the drawing. If you comment, so comment and comment and comment on the post right here on our Facebook group. I pick one random post each Facebook Live, and if you commented on that post, your name is in the drawing. Also, if you share a picture of a project that you've made to our group right here, your name is in the drawing. And then also, lastly, if you sign up for my email list, your name is in the drawing, which the link for email signups is always above this Facebook Live video as well once I get it uploaded. Okay, so lots and lots of entries in here. So thank you for your comments, for your shares of Facebook Live. Um, what else? <laughs> for posting pictures, for signing up for my email list. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we are going to give away now. We can finally do it. These uh, iridescent foil gems, I think is what they're called. Lisa, hello from Wisconsin. You probably have beautiful weather in Wisconsin too. Isn't it crazy? I took Stormy, my dog, on a walk um, a little bit ago and just beautiful outside. I normally wear a hat because I've like just worked out and then, um, you know, take him. It's like our routine. Every time I get done working out, he's like, okay, is it time? Is it time? Are we going on our walk? Um, so yeah, I'm all like sweaty and gross. So I usually put like a hat on. Um, and so I couldn't wear my like ski hat because <laughs> it's too warm outside. So anyway, you know. Whatever, do you guys really need to know any of these things? Almost 69, oh my goodness, Philomena. That is amazing. I don't know if it's that warm here. I heard like mid fifties, which I'm still totally thrilled. Oh no, it's coming our way. It changed overnight. So you had great weather, huh, Lisa? Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, okay. Well, you had a great day yesterday then, right? Okay, so that's what we have to expect probably. Okay. All right, I think these are well shaken. There were a bunch that were stuck together. So I'm always trying to give everybody a fair chance. There's still a couple. Okay, there. All right, I think we can finally pick one name out of here. And we have, ah, Patricia Hogan, Horgan or Hogan? No, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look. <laughs> um, but I think she signed up for my email list. So Miss Patricia, if you did not give me your mailing address, because I, I need to check that out, make sure that you do. And I will get these little iridescent foil gems sent out to you. So thank you for signing up for my email list, Miss Patricia. Okay, let's see. We're going to scoop that one there. Those, get the names in for the next drawing too. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, which is going to be two weeks from today, so I think that puts it at, I don't know, the 23rd maybe? February 23rd? Anyway, two weeks from today, next Facebook Live, uh, we are going to give away these purple fine shimmer gems. Everyone is totally loving these. So three beautiful shades of purple, Stampin' Up! purples, right? This is what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live. Again, if you share this video, five entries for uh, sharing to a crafting group you're a part of. Hello, Miss Pathy. Thank you for joining us. Share my class to go kit post. Comment on a post on uh, this Facebook Live group, right? Uh, post a picture of a project that you've made or sign up for my email list. You get your name in the drawing. Okay. So yes, beautiful purple gems. I agree, Miss Philomena. Okay. Where'd my list go? My little notes of what we're talking about. Okay. So just another quick reminder about the awesome, awesome, awesome starter kit deal that we have. Still have a couple weeks again through the end of the month, February 29th. It's a leap year. I feel like that's kind of like a lucky thing, right? Um, <clears throat> yeah. So 
pick $125 in product. You get the stamp and glass mat studio for free. Pay only $99 plus sales tax. The shipping fee is waived. Also, if you don't need the stamp and glass mat, pick $155 in product. Pay only $99 plus sales tax. Uh, no shipping on that one either. And Miss Susie just got the starter kit. Isn't that perfect timing? So congratulations and welcome back to the Inspired Stampers, Miss Susie. She got that awesome starter kit deal. I bet she probably got the stamp and glass mat. I haven't even had a chance to ask her yet. Um, but yes, and then so you become a part of our Inspired Stampers group. We have a whole separate Facebook group where we do uh, business challenges, creative challenges. We swap at our meetings, even if you're long distance. <clears throat> I actually just got a box from Miss Teresa Hinchman. She's so good at swapping. She makes her cards every single month, mails them off to me. I swap them around with everybody at the meeting and I mail them back to her so you can participate even if you're long distance. Um, what else? Make and takes at our meetings. You can get the make and takes if you come to the meeting or you're long distance. I'll mail them to you. Uh, lots of great camaraderie. Just a beautiful, wonderful group of ladies um, that are a part of our Inspired Stampers group. <clears throat> and she says, Susie says, yes, she did. She got the new stamp and glass mat studio. So hopefully you are enjoying that as well. Although you maybe just got it. I'm not, I can't remember quite when you, you know, it always takes a little while to get your first starter kit order too, but congratulations, Miss Susie. Um, so if you guys have any questions on the starter kit, on what it means to be an expired stamper, I do love to make sure that you guys know, I think I mentioned um, like business challenges and that sort of thing. You don't have to be business minded at all. If you are great, I kind of uh, cater to everyone, I guess I would say. I'm always putting ideas out there for, you know, if you're what you consider like a, just a hobby demonstrator, just, not just, right? Um, someone that just wants to get the discount on awesome products, which we all want to do that. Even business-minded demonstrators don't want to pay full price for Stampin' Up! products, right? So me right here, I love getting free stuff or discounted stuff. So yeah, that's the beauty of Stampin' Up! is that we get that at least a 20% discount on all of our orders. Um, where was I going with this? Totally lost my train of thought. Um, I don't know. Basically, the starter kit deal is awesome and becoming an inspired stamper is awesome. Getting the deal, that's where I was going. You don't have to be business minded. If you ever decide though, like for me, I was a hobbyist for a number of years and then I decided, oh my gosh, I think I wanna make some money at this um, and share it with others. That was a big part of it too, was I'm sitting downstairs in my basement at the time doing all this stuff. I'm like, what am I doing with all this stuff? I wanna share it with others. So now I get to do that on my Facebook lives and at my classes. So um, lots of different things can happen. It's kind of rolls through the years too. When I was busier with my kids, maybe I couldn't do as much, did a bunch for a while. Now I'm busier at my other job. So I maybe cut back a little bit here too, but so it just definitely kind of flows with whatever you can put to it, right? So, and Susan says, I'm a hobbyist. Yes, and she's very proud of that, I am sure. Um, yeah, so it's just great to get that discount. So yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, what else do I want to say? Oh, I want to say thank you to Miss Linda Danis. She heard my, my call for, um, what do I want to say? My, my, uh, my appreciation and my love for you guys writing reviews. <laughs> oh, thank you, Philomena. That's awesome that you enjoy the live so much. I appreciate that. I would love to be here in front of you guys doing this. I love the creating. I love sharing all of this stuff with you. So thank you. You guys are what make me like want to keep doing it too. If nobody showed up on Facebook lives or watched later, um, I, I don't think I'd be doing it any longer, right? If I was just talking to myself all the time or talking to my dog who's half the time barking right <laughs> so yes thank you ladies I truly that is that like warms my heart right truly appreciate that so thank you thank you um okay so yes yeah, so with that being said if you want to tell others how great this is right Facebook lives class to go kits whatever it is that you love I would love for you to write a review for me on my Stampin' Up! website um, because as people kind of are shopping for demonstrators looking for um, demonstrators. I think it's great to have reviews on there from people um, that like are part of my community, right? So I'd love for you to write a review. So you all you have to do is go to Amy Suzanne. So it's A-M-Y-S-U-Z-A-N-N-E dot stampin' up dot com. 
If you do that, um, scroll down to the bottom and there's a little button that says write a review and you just write up whatever you want to say. Only nice things, please, right? <laughs> uh, and then um, I get an email. They Stampin' Up! notifies me that you've done a review so I can go check it out and um, get it posted up onto um, onto my website. And then I'm keeping a list of anybody that... Um, uh, that writes a review, then I'm going to put your names in, in a special drawing that we'll do at the beginning of March. Um, so let's see. <laughs> oh my gosh, she, what is Philomena Shear saying? My shares go to my friends from my old classes. <laughs> that is awesome from 1995 and now. Very cool. That is so great, Philomena. That's fun to, that's fun to know too. Very, very cool. Awesome. So thank you for that too. Um, okay, so I think we are going to do our other drawing because I have a bunch I want to share with you guys when we flip the camera down. <clears throat> so our next drawing, if you ordered through me um, using the host code that I'll give you, where, where the heck is the host code? Now that I think about that, I think it's stuck underneath there. I'm gonna have to find that. Okay, so anyway, as I digress, as usual, you're going to get both of these cards as a thank you from me for your online order. So thank you. These are the projects that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. These will come to you. You also get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, which features this beautiful card right here that I created, or the free embellishment for February, which are these awesome, these are the rainbow adhesive backed gems. Pick from either one of those, right? The tutorial or the gems. And your name right now is in the drawing to win this heartfelt hexagon stamp set. Okay, so here, I'm gonna shake these around. We'll pick one lucky winner. I'm glad you like those cards. Thank you, Miss Susan. All right, and let's see. One, yes, we have one, one, yes, one. Only one, okay, one in my hand, right? Miss Vina Gomez. I mean, seriously, there are two things in here, right? So <laughs> I always say this, Vina, your odds were really good. You had 50-50 chance of winning, right? So congratulations, Vina. Hexagon, heartfelt hexagon stamp set will be on its way to you. So vina has been a super lucky winner. She, I think she's won the last three Facebook Lives in a row. So she ordered through me and she just got this stamp set. And then the past couple of times, she's a great sharer and commenter, um, sharing of the posts, commenting on posts, and also sharing projects that she's made. So she, she's very active and so she wins a lot. So if you're active, maybe you'll win a lot too, right? Act, when I say active, I mean active on our Facebook group right here. Okay, um, let's see. I'm trying to just, I can't bend over. <laughs> I think I, I pulled a little something in like in the back of your knee, you know, so like it doesn't want to bend very well. So <laughs> anyway, whatever, right? There's all the aches and pains. So, and I was told, okay, do you guys know this? I No one ever told me this because I love Motrin. So whenever like I'm kind of achy, creaky, whatever, I'm like, oh, just pop a Motrin. Well, then I recently, well, recently, it's been a couple years now, but I've developed high blood pressure, which I, I'm like just annoyed. I'm like, why do I have high blood pressure? But I just went to a doctor who said, maybe it's the Motrin. Maybe you're taking too much Motrin. So I've been, basically, I've been told don't take any more Motrin. So now I'm like, oh, everything hurts all the time. But I, I don't know what's worse, high blood pressure or like achy body. So I'm trying it. I'm trying not to take any Motrin. I'm going to see if my blood pressure um, comes down a little bit. So I'm working on some other alternative remedies. I think I found one from my massage therapist. So again, way more information than you guys want to know, right? But I, that's why I'm like, oh, I can't move very well. Okay, so we're going to give away <laughs> on our next Facebook Live the Carnival Trees. Isn't this, this is a super cute, this is the host stamp set in the back of our spring mini catalog. So such a cute like carnival, like donuts and hot dogs and Slurpees and popcorn and caramel apples. And what is that? Oh, cotton candy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All the junk food right there on that cute little stamp set. So that's what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live. Yes, a massage is amazing. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, and it helps. It definitely helps with the achy, creaky body. And Mary, my massage therapist, is super, she's amazing, like knows people's bodies, like just is very, very knowledgeable, reads and learns and teaches and goes to classes and things. Um, and then she's also a very much like a homeopath kind of 
route for things. She doesn't like to take medicine. So she told me about something that I could use instead of Motrin. So yeah, she's very knowledgeable, wonderful massage therapist, and then very knowledgeable in other things as well. So love, 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 Mary. Um, okay, so I think I'm just taking a quick peek here. I've shown you everything. I just have to clean off things a tiny bit here. And I need to find that host code. I think it's buried underneath here. So let's see. Give me one sec and we'll make sure that it's underneath. So the glass mat is on here too. Okay. It's, well, normally it is. There, okay. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm like the master at hiding stuff. There we go. Okay, now I'm all set. Okay, yay. All right, we're gonna flip the camera down. Okay, turn your heads away, flying through the air. Gonna have some more fun. Okay. <clears throat> that looks all right, right? Okay, so flipping the camera. Here is our host code. So I do want to move my glass mat too. So let's get this so then I know if I'm in view or not. Let's see. There, okay, now I can see the corners, right? Okay, all right, so there's our host code for November. Quick sip of water. Mm -hmm. I'll share this with you guys right now too. This is a cute little treat that I made for all my club members this month. <clears throat> With that, where that stamp is from right here, right? We've got our softly sophisticated. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh Susan, that's funny. I don't know what you're seeing. <laughs> Maybe the back, right? I'm like, I'm laughing, right? I wish your craft room looked as, you wish your craft room looked as nice as mine. <laughs> that's funny. Well, I'm yeah, I should pan around sometime. Maybe I'll do that for you guys. You, <laughs> as I'm okay, Susan. I'm literally like totally LOLing, right? I'm laughing out loud at you as I look around my. <laughs> I only let you see certain things, Susan. That's all I'm gonna say. So one of these days, I'll share everything. <laughs> all right. I'm glad you write like the treat box too, Miss Philomena. Okay. So yes, softly sophisticated stamp set. This <laughs> I really appreciate you is the sentiment barely fits on there, but I really wanted to use that sentiment. And then these are, this is one of our dies. It's a new one. It's already down at, <laughs> I wouldn't want to see yours. Oh, you never know, Susan. I think that might be a challenge, right? We're all going to have to post pictures of our crafting spaces someday um, and show who, who has the craziest one, right? Uh, okay. So this, these dies, everyday details, maybe, can you guys see, can you guys kind of see the, the polka dots around the edge there? So super cute. And the black and white check ribbon, the Be Mine designer series paper, can't get enough of that. Right. And so let's see if we just slide this thing off. We have a yummy, <laughs> it's funny. Cause I gave these to the friends of mine. You would never, <laughs> That's funny. You'd never do that. Gave these to my friends that came to Craftorama too. Um, and so she, Stacy, one of my good friends, just texted me saying, these are yummy. And I, I laughingly was like, oh boy, don't even tell me that because I haven't tried them. They're, well, I guess I should show you. It's like a little Debbie, um, a little Debbie cake. And I do like these, these like white cake kind of things are definitely <laughs> my, um, have an issue, have a problem with the sweets like that. So, but yeah, she said they're really good. And I'm like, I have not even tried one, which is very unusual for me. But I said, you know, I'm afraid if I try one, I won't be able to find anymore because they're Valentine ones. So I can't, I don't think I can try one. <laughs> I'm going to abstain. I'm going to try anyway. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else did I want to share with you guys? I've got my whole list here. Yep. Okay. So I'm staying on track. Things are good here, right? Um, oh, I want to show you guys scrapbook pages real quick too. So if you remember, um, oh yeah. And also because they feature, so do you guys remember this bag that my friend, um, and team member Sharon made for me? I don't know if you can see, it's like two, uh -oh. sorry, the neighbor dog is barking, which then means Stormy starts barking too. So since it's so nice, everyone's going to be out on a walk. So that's not going to help 
lots of barking today probably okay so yeah so this is a piece well two pieces a 12 by 12 designer series paper you score it on two inches at side side and bottom and then do that again and then fit them together and it makes a bag so can you kind of i don't know can you kind of see and then I put some pretty ribbon in there also, right? So yes, beautiful bag. I love that. I thought this worked perfectly, that ribbon right there too. So it's kind of a, you guys kind of can see, right? Yeah, you, can you kind of, yeah, okay, good. You can see down in there. Yes, very cute bag. So yes, yeah, so this was a bag that Sharon made a couple of weeks ago. She brought it to our last team meeting. So then also I have these scrapbook pages featuring our flight and area designer series paper so we had scrapbook class at the end of january and this was one of the pages that we made and we've got that you mean the world to me right with the new postage stamp dies this is the other half of the two page spread if you can see that right we've got our you are loved beyond measure right another beautiful page with that um what is that the misty moonlight ribbon Right, so those are a two page spread. And then we also did some Valentine pages at the end of January. So we got a little happy Valentine's Day with that. Is it the So Adored or Mo I don't know, something adored designer series paper that is part of celebration. And then here's the other. So we've got our two page spread, right? So you've got some that pretty designer series paper down at the bottom. So very simple pages. These are more so that die. You can kind of see it a little bit better on the red, right? So the black has kind of the polka dotties around it. Um, stormy, enough, please. Okay, so circles. I was going to say, did he really listen? <laughs> I'm like, he usually doesn't stop barking just because I say that. And then these are the rectangles with the little um, dots around them too. So that's cute, right? The little Be My Valentine. So thank you, ladies. I'm glad you enjoy those pages. I love making those scrapbook pages too. Alrighty, and next I want to share with you guys <clears throat> our latest class to go. Actually, we can scoot this over here for a moment, right? So, oh shoot, let's see, let me find, I need my notes on, oh actually, I actually have them right here. Okay, I'm trying to bend out. Oh, <laughs> did you hear my body creaking? <laughs> Sorry, I'm like a little bit all over the place. So we've got the Notes of Nature class to go. I got to get my notes ready for the Notes of Nature class to go featuring. Okay, so our Notes of Nature stamp set. Love, this is like you can make your own designer series paper with all these cute little backgroundy stamps, right? Sentiments are, today is all about you. Happy birthday. Just a little note to say hello. Thanks for making me smile, right? Beautiful stamp set awesome set of dies that go with the stamp set so like these images right here are all die cut and then also some kind of coordinating dies that work very very well with the stamp set we also are featuring the gold if you can kind of see it there a little bit and the right this is the gold faux leather trim and then the cork adhesive backed rounds these are fun little doodads too and then finally the nature's sweetness oh i guess i have to pull this out nature's sweetness designer series paper i'll show you this you can see all of the beautiful mess that we have here right so we've got are these yes yeah, so we've got these these so we're gonna just kind of fan them out here so those and then we'll flip these over so you can kind of see all of like the the gold <laughs> that's funny wait till you get to 70 and your body creaks yes i don't know i feel like i'm there already susan <laughs> i don't know if it's this bad right now what is 70 gonna feel like huh oh yeah yeah uh yeah. Yes. Beautiful paper. You just got yours too. That's awesome. Okay. So this is one side of the nature's sweetness, beautiful gold foil, right? Uh, specialty. It's a specialty designer series paper. And then more beautiful kind of neutrally tones on the other side of the paper. Okay. So, oh, you guys want to see the cards? I probably should have started with those, huh? <laughs> oh my goodness. Help. Help. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to scoot this out of the way for the moment too. Okay. So here are the four cards that we're going to make in this class to go. We've got this card. There's card number one, card number two. This one is a little fun full, card number three, and card number four. 
Okay, so in, we'll talk about options, right? We've got option number one. You get the stamp set and the dies. You get the full bolt of the gold faux leather trim. You get a full package of the cork rounds and you get a quarter of a pack of the designer series paper. That paper is free. You also get a free celebration item in uh, option number one, plus the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step step how to put all of your cards together. You're gonna make two of each of these, so you get eight cards in total. Option number one is $84. Option number two is if you already have the stamp set and the dies, you need your stamps to do your stamping and your die cutting. You're gonna get the cork rounds, you're gonna get the faux leather trim, you're gonna get the quarter pack of paper, you're gonna get all the parts and pieces that you need plus the PDF tutorial. Option number two is $34. Both of those, option number one and two, if you need them shipped to you, it's an additional $10 for the priority mail shipping. Also, PDF tutorial, option number three, you can get um, just the instructions on all that I used, whatever I did to make these cards. It's $15. It's free to my downline, though, so think about getting that starter kit, and you can get all my class to-go kit PDF tutorials for free. Also, option number four is for my downline. Any of my Inkspired stampers can get the make and takes for just $15. I give them the cork rounds, the faux um, gold leather trim, right? Uh, the designer series paper, all the parts and pieces they need. They still need to get their stamps and their dies to do their own stamping and die cutting, but you get all that for just $15 if you're an inspired stamper. Um, what else? Oh, actually, let me tell you. Colors used. Berry Burst, Crumb Cake, Pecan Pie. Those are the ink pads that you need. I, I limited it. Only three. That's pretty good for me. Uh, RSVPs are due Thursday, February 29th. So last day of celebration. If you get option number one, again, you can get um, one of the celebration items. I'm just asking that you not pick the 12 by 12 designer series paper because that's like insanely expensive to ship these days. Um, so any of the other celebration, any of the other $50 celebration items you can pick and those kits will ship out no later than March 13th, hopefully much sooner than that. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions. I would love to get one of these class to go kits sent out to you. All right, we are going to scoot all of this stuff out of the way. Okay, plus I need to, I got to remember to take it down to my class this afternoon. We're using some of this stuff at class. Okay, so that's going to be a really good reminder. I'm going to set that right there so I have to step right over it. <laughs> Okay, you guys ready to do some stamping now? I think I am. What if we, can we leave that? We'll just kind of leave that right there. Kind of helps me know. Like you guys can't see anything further. Ooh, how about this, huh? Do you like my shirt? We got my little block M there, right? And then this says Wolverines, but you can't really read it all, right? I thought they did a nice job on these shirts. I was one of those suckers that like, you know, the minute after we, well, I think it was the next morning, but the, the more, the next morning after we won the national championship, I was like, I need a t-shirt. So I went right out and I ordered one, you know, it's what you do sometimes when you're a crazy fan, right? Okay. So I'm trying to get everything pulled out here. Do you want to see the card that we're making? I'm like, are we doing, we have, um, a little bit of die cutting. Okay, yeah, so yeah. All right, here, let me show you. I'm gonna show you the card first. <laughs> okay, let me get all my stuff out though. So I'm make sure I have what I need. Okay, so card, this is what we're gonna make. Oh wait, what are we looking at here? Um, ooh, oh, you have yet to get your sweatshirt. Uh, oh, yes, all right, well, get on top of that, Miss Susan. They're probably <laughs> like reading all these comments. Oh, that's fun. You went to the first, did you go to the first football game, Susan? Is that what you're saying? Love, love the big house, right? Okay, let me actually show you the card first. Okay, so this is the card. I'm getting very distracted. This is the card that we are making right here. So, and this is, let me show you. It's like a fun fold, right? So when you set it, so it says, hello there. I really appreciate you. Awesome, Miss Susan. How fun. I love going to football games. Um, especially when the weather's good. Mike and I went to one last fall and the, it was raining like the whole time. So that wasn't quite as great. We still had a great time, but it definitely could have been even better, right? Ah, uh, yes, it makes a pretty bag. Yes, it does. It makes pretty cards. Okay, so that's what we're doing here, ladies. Can you kind of, you kind of get the idea, right? So it's like a fun card and then it flips up and this kind of holds it so it'll stand up. Now, 
Did not come up with this design myself. I actually got a swap card right here. This swap is from Rhonda Basler. She is at gardengirl20 at bak.rr.com. That's where you can find Miss Rhonda. So she made this card, opened it up, and I was like, oh, check that out. Isn't that cool, right? So figured out how she did it and, and made my own card right here too. Love. You guys know, obviously you can see that I do that all the time. Really not great at coming up with maybe, especially like fun folds like this on my own, but I get one like in a swap and I'm all over it. It's a great like template for me, um, you know, on how to make a card. So don't be shy about that. Don't be embarrassed or thinking that you shouldn't do that. Do it all the time. That's why we share all of our projects so that you can inspire others, right? Okay, so we're going to start with a thick basic white piece of cardstock. On the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches, okay? And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches. Then we also scored it, if you can see, right, from the score mark at five and a half inches down to the opposite corner point there, okay? So it's going to, now all of a sudden I'm like, did I do that right? Yeah, okay, I did. Shoo! Okay, so we're going to fold it in half. And then this thing is going to fold up like that. So that's going to be, so here's your card, right? Your regular card. And then you just score kind of from point to point. And you want to just make sure that you don't, well, I don't know. Could you fold it? No, you couldn't. It'd fold backwards, right? So you want to make sure you go from the top right down to the bottom left corner when you score it, okay? And then we have that beautiful Flight and Airy Designer Series paper. This was one, yes, it fits together. Perfect. Good. Um, piece of, let me make sure my notes. Yes. Cause it is, it's like a seven eighth or right. So it's, you're not going to see it quite so well. It's four and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And then again, you cut it kind of from point to point. So that one's going to go there and that one's going to go there. Okay. Then, uh, one more piece of designer series paper and then everything else is just kind of scraps. Oh boy. Where is that? <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, let's see. This designer series paper is three and one quarter by two inches. And you know what I think? I'm trying to figure out if I actually did this or not. Nope, okay, good. Shoot, I thought I took the punch down too. Oh, I don't need it. Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> it's like, do I need that punch? Yes. I thought I took this punch down to um, the church already, but I found it. So shoo. Okay. Thank goodness. I was having a little moment there. All right. So I think we are good. It's mainly punches um, that we're going to use on our project here. So let's see. Um, <laughs> why don't we, I think we're going to punch this first while I have it out. So this is, what is this called? This is Lost Lagoon cardstock. So I'm using mm, some kind of label punch. I have to all of the <laughs> all of the details will be on my blog this afternoon. Gathering ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. I'll give you I'll give you the name of that punch. Hexagon. Maybe it's hexagon punch. It might be. Okay. Then let's also do um, our stamping. Normally I don't um, I probably could have stamped first. Where is everything? Oh, okay, I know. <laughs> I'm like, I was showing it to you earlier. Hello there is what we're using. And then I really appreciate you. Those are the stamps from our softly sophisticated stamp set. And, okay, my ink I already have out too. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna use our garden green ink. Oh, I would love to see this card that you make later today, Miss Susan. You have lots of... um card making and posting to do for us, don't you? <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Okay, so here's our hello there. Then we are going to stamp this. I really appreciate you. A nice, easy tap, tap, tap. And if that doesn't look good, we can always flip it over, but I like that one. All right, and then we are also, let's punch this right now. And... <laughs> yes, that's a good idea, Bonnie. That would really help me out. You're right. <laughs> um, we'll have to mention that. there. Next time you call Stampin' Up, 
with a question or a concern or something, you can give them that suggestion too, that could you please do that? Put the names of the punches somewhere on there. Okay, so then we're going to use, am I, where is that? I feel like I'm all over the place. Sorry guys, because I used a lot on this card. I think it's like confusing me. Detailed dogwood, we use that cute little flower right there because it coordinates with this, I think it's like Petal Park Builder Punch. So that punch right there is what coordinates with that stamp, right? That stamp and that punch work together. Isn't that awesome? So, oh, I should mention, this is a stamp set you can get for free with a $100 order during Celebration. So you've still got some time to get that stamp set too if you don't have that one yet. Okay, so now I have my little stecky that says, hold it this way so you can read this, okay? So <laughs> hopefully that means it goes like that and then I'll be able to punch it. So I did this a couple days ago, and so my brain is like, what? Oh, wait, I want to ink that up some more. Okay. Okay. I think I need to re-ink. I'm going to press firmly. There we go. I need to re-ink. This is Daffodil Delight ink. I think I need to re-ink it. There we go. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, I hope that was it. Okay, so now we're going to, let's see. Is that going to fit? It is, Yes. Okay, so we're going to scoot over to this one, though, because this one's a little bit darker. Because it is a little bit like if you stamped it sideways, it doesn't fit in here. Okay. Ooh, we got lots of extra there, and we're going to get even more extra on this one. Okay, so we're going to do this one. Yeah, that's like a... Got to kind of line that baby up, right? Okay, so we're going to put that sticker... I don't know. <laughs> I took I took my sticky off. So now was it that way or was it that way? I can't remember. But as long as I get it right for you guys while we're doing Facebook Live, that's really the most important thing. After that, I can figure it out on my own another time. Okay, so we have a couple of those little babies there. So we've got we got a little bit of a mess going here, but it's all right. Um. Okay, we also are going to punch. This is like the an oval. I don't know, double oval punch, dual oval punch. Misty Moonlight cardstock, we're using that right there. We got our DSP. So all we have to do is cut this piece right here. So we're going to do that real quick. With These are, <laughs> still loved, scalloped contours dies. This is going to be one of those, right, all these dies that I hope... I just hope every year I'm like, oh, don't retire those because I still love them. Love that little scallop... Um, whatever that is. <laughs> Sorry. I, I was so with it. And now I'm feeling like I'm so not with it. So, okay. <laughs> you, you, you had me at my peak for a few seconds and now it's all over ladies. So, okay. <laughs> As I'm like, oh, there's another memory pill I'm supposed to be taking now. I meant to take that before I hopped on Facebook live, but I forgot. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like just cracking my own self up here today. Okay, well, it'll all be all right. Okay, so here, love, right? Can't get enough of these scalloped contours dies. So cute, cute, cute. All right, I think we are ready to put things together, although my card base fell on the floor. So, and my adhesive. Okay, quick sip of water here, too. <laughs> Okay, so let's put, I want these little corners. I feel like I'm going to get adhesive. I, I can tell I already have some adhesive um, on here. So I need to, need to get my Windex. I heard that's the thing that that'll help me get. Um, because my, um, what do I want to say, like the chamois, it's not going to get, um, oops, adhesive off, I don't think as well as maybe... Right, I'm just kind of, oh, <laughs> trying to go along all the corners. Okay. All right. So, yeah, I'll let you know how the Windex works, but I think that's going to be a good thing, right? Okay. So, we're going to put this one right about there, right? So, this was a full piece. Isn't that so pretty? I love this paper. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I didn't play with it too much. It wasn't one. I was like, oh, birds, those are nice. Didn't really do it for me when I first saw it. And now I've seen, and like that happens so many times, right? Seen so many beautiful, 
projects made with it. Like, look at, isn't that so pretty? Love that paper. We're gonna use this side or that pattern. We're using this side today, right? Now, the thing is when you put this on here, you only wanna put dimensionals down kind of on this corner, right? So what I figured out that I should do is actually, oops, those are the minis. Where are the big ones? Right here, okay. So I decided I'm gonna put one in the corner there and then I'm gonna put it on here where I want it and it's gonna stick where I want it, right? And then I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna find, eh, let's see, actually what I should do, this is what I should do, right? I should put it like right there and then that'll work nicely, right? And then I'm gonna put one right there, okay? So you can kind of see those, right? And then that'll hold that right on, okay? So it'll flip up perfectly. We also might as well go ahead and put a couple of these guys on there. And then we are going to, let's open this up so we can see it, right? <clears throat> kind of get it in the same spot. A lovely fun fold. Thank you, Miss Philomena. <laughs> All right, trying to make sure I like where that is. Yeah, so that'll be good, right? Okay, so there's that. All right, now we will finish up our card. We're gonna use some little mini dimensionals on the back of that. We're gonna put some adhesive on our hello there. And we're gonna add that one right there. Did I put, nope, I didn't put any dimensionals behind that. Okay, so we are gonna add our hello there. On right there, I'm going to grab the mini dimensionals that I flung across the table. We're going to put a couple of those on the back of our, oops, I went to pull the back off and I pulled the whole thing off. Okay, here we go. All right, we'll put one right there. And then we're going to do, one. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like all over the place. Okay, and then one more maybe right there. Now we have our beautiful, these are the blooming pearls and we are going to use, I think these are pretty peacock. So they're a little bit more bluey. These I think are garden green. So I want to use the pretty peacock because I think that goes well with my lost lagoon, right? So we're going to use a couple of those little babies. Sometimes it's great when they do flip over Right, there we go, those two go on there. And lastly, we are going to use our, this is the Lost Lagoon bordered ribbon. We're gonna do just a little bow that we're gonna put on kind of our little hello there. And I love this ribbon. Just trying to kind of pull that little loop right through there. You guys can see that. It's actually, I'm like hearing it, it's um beautiful, like sunny, gorgeous day today, but it's pretty windy out there too. I keep kind of hearing the wind blow in the background. You guys enjoying my block M? It's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> if you're not a Michigan fan, maybe I'll I'll get you converted in time, right? Who's not a Maison Blue fan, right? Okay. <laughs> there we go. Hello there. I really appreciate you. Cute, huh? Isn't that fun? Yes, warm and windy in Clarkston, too. I'm heading down your way, too, Susan. This half, well, tonight, I guess. Because I have class, too, so it'll be a little while. But I'm going to be down in your neck of woods for the weekend. Um, okay, let's see. We are going to clean these stamps off so they don't get on anything, right? Okay, so we've got that one, that one. Okay, so we're going to clean these. There we go. That's all skidgy there, right? Okay. Doing that. I'm going to clean this one. Is that all I used was those two stamps? It might have been. Right? Always love the sentiments. Okay. think we are good. Oh, I did have one more. It's like here in the corner. Okay. We'll do that one. Okay. 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 There we go. All right. One more card, ladies. Another beauty, it's another fun fold, you guys. 
oops, I put the adhesive in that little toe. Okay. <laughs> that, then I would be like, where's my adhesive, ladies? Okay, how about this beautiful one with the birdies again, right? This, you're in my thoughts. Isn't that so pretty? Love, love, love that designer series paper. I just think it is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let me show you what we are using on this guy today. Our stamps. Oops. Some cardstock there. Okay, so. Oops, I got some extra that I don't need. Okay, so we are going to start. This is Soft Sea Foam. Glad you guys like this one too. So Soft Sea Foam is a color I don't use very often, and it's just gorgeous, right? Kind of getting closer to springtime. I feel like it's like a springtime color, right? Okay, so we have our Soft Sea Foam card base along the eight and a half inch side. Again, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. This time we scored it at two and three quarters and five and a half inches. So it's going to go like this this and this. So it's going to flap and flap back, right? So that's this back piece there. Then we also have this smaller piece of soft sea foam cardstock. We'll talk about that one next. This one measures 10 by two and three quarters, and we scored it at two and a half and five and one quarter. So actually it's like this, right? So we're going to lay that one down on the card, we're gonna fold that one kind of in a Z fold, so it's gonna go like that right there, okay? Then let me tell you about the designer series paper. We have this piece that's gonna go right there. This one measures four and a half by two and a half, okay? Then on the big back of, big kind of card base, right? We've got this piece right here. Again, flight and airy designer series paper, two and a half by four. And then this one, the standard layer that is five and a quarter by four inches is gonna go right there. And again, all of the measurements, all of the product codes, colors, dimensions, everything that you need to know to order and recreate these projects will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon. The only other thing you need to know about is that little piece in terms of measurements, basic white cardstock, two and a quarter by two and a half, okay? And then I have some kind of scrap pieces of basic white and soft sea foam for our stamping and die cutting there. Okay. All right. So let's do, we'll just kind of scoot these guys over. Stormy's having a dream. I hear him kind of making that little blippy noise. It's okay, buddy. Let's do our die cutting first. And then we can do the rest of what we need to do, right? Okay. So there we go this. We're using my so oh so favorite. These are the Thoughtful Expressions dies. These little labels right here we're going to use. Oh, and a little flower from there too. All right. Is that what it's called? Yes. Thoughtful Expressions dies. Okay. So we're using kind of that third largest and then that little flower guy right there too. Okay. So we're going to do a storm. It's okay, buddy. I'm gonna use that one and that one right there. We're gonna put this piece. <laughs> you're welcome, Susan. I figure if people, you know, if you're listening, you can get them now, but if you miss something, you can always get them later too on my blog. Okay, let's see. Get these things. We'll just scoot this stuff right out of the way. Oops, there we go. Cranking that handle the wrong way. Not working very well. Okay, so check this out, right? I use these all the time. If you guys do not have these dies, again, the Thoughtful Expressions dies, beautiful labels, right? Beautiful set of labels. And then beautiful floral imagery too. And then the hummingbird is right there also. Yes, gorgeous set of dies. Very, very useful. Love all of, you guys can see, right? I'm totally selling these, right? But these are just so cute. The little stitching around the edge, all the little scallopiness. Okay, let's see if we can, ooh, yeah, there we go. That's the easy way to do that. Okay, our little baby popped right out there. Okay, so now let's do our stamping. Oh, yes, hold, hold the phone, hold something or other here. I wanna grab a little scrap piece of paper because you guys can you see this right on this one I want to stamp that flower behind there so that flower was also from it's in the other one the detailed dogwood stamp set so this one right here is what we're going to stamp kind of in the background 
of this card also. So what I think I want to do, I'm going to punch it first. Okay, so yeah, normally I stamp first, but today I'm punching first because I want to kind of get things lined up if I can. Okay, so I'm going to ink up my dogwood flower with my soft seafoam ink that coordinates with my soft seafoam cardstock. And then I'm trying to decide what did I use, right? I guess it doesn't really matter. I just kind of want something in the background. Yeah. So do you see, I mean, I just kind of plopped that down on there, but I just want a little something kind of soft behind there. Then I'm going to use my Misty Moonlight ink. And we're going to do a nice, easy tap, tap, tap. I'm going to move that out of the way so I don't get my sleeve into it. And then we're going to add the, you are in my thoughts. There, isn't that so pretty? I love doing that. Just that little kind of... Um, subtle stamping behind, you know, in a really soft color, or maybe you stamp it off and then stamp it on there too. That'd be another way, but always use like a little scrap piece of paper. Um, I think that it's easier for me than, uh, you can use your chamois though. That would be the other thing that you could do. Use your chamois to clean that off. Okay, so let's see, we got those, we got this. Let's just put some dimensionals on the back of that because I know I need those. And we'll kind of add these right on here and also I'm going to grab this little baby because I want to I'm afraid I'm going to lose my little flower right so we're going to put that right there okay so we're going to peel the backings off of these guys oh my gosh I just love that die we're going to pop this thing right on there then we're going to use our little silicone mat to put just a little bit of adhesive on there oops did I I don't know it feels like there's barely now I got some I could see it happening there we're just going to put this right about there. Okay, so he's all ready to go. Uh, I think this had some dimensionals on it. Also, I'm going to wait on that, though. Okay, let's put everything together now, okay? I'm going to start adding adhesive and popping pieces on where we need them, okay? So we've got this guy is going to go. This is our basic weight. Little spot to write something. You could always write on the back, too. You could always put another piece of cardstock on the back there if that is not enough room to write what you want to say, okay? Because I know it's a little bit teeny, right? Okay, so we're just adding all of our adhesive. My um, seal feels like it's getting toward the end. You know, it doesn't run quite as easily once it's been used for a bit, and it's, so I'm like, just don't, don't run out before I finish Facebook Live, please. <laughs> Hopefully, if not, maybe I'll just grab mini glue dots or something, but I think we're doing all right so far. Okay, so we're going to add a bunch of adhesive. And, but you know what I think? I don't want to do that one yet. We're going to, okay, so we're going to lay that one down in a moment. What I want to do is add, <laughs> or do I? Let's see, maybe we will do that, right? If we... Nope, I think this was easier. It was easier to put this side down and then lay that one flat once the card is folded up. Okay, so we are going to add some adhesive here and here. I want quite a bit of adhesive on these pieces because it's folding like this, right? Okay, so this one is gonna go, yeah, this is gonna be it. We're gonna be able to do this all right at once. Okay, so that's fine there, and that's fine. We've got kind of an even amount showing on each of those. Yeah, so just put adhesive all over the back of both. You just don't want to go too far on this piece. Did I? <laughs> what did I do? Oh, there it is. <laughs> there, okay. That little bit got caught behind there. That's what it was. I'm like, oh no. Yeah, don't put too much adhesive here because you don't want this to stick back in there. That's what I thought maybe I did. <gasps> Hi, Nikki. How are you? <laughs> I know it's beautiful paper, isn't it? It is gorgeous. All right, so now we're going to add some... Actually, you know what? I think this is dimensionals. Let's put... I wanted to peek here. Nope, I guess it doesn't matter, does it? Because it's not going to fall off of anything, right? Okay, so we're going to just put a couple of dimensionals on the back of this guy. I'm glad you guys are enjoying these cards. Okay, we're going to put this one 
beautiful right there right we got you know we got to add some bling and some ribbon oops i'm at the end of that there okay there we go we'll just pull that off right i always like to work with the ribbon you know extra like don't cut it um as much as you think you need keep it on the bolt or on this extra string so much easier to work with that way okay there we go we are going to find some scissors to make that cut there, I'm going to grab a mini glue dot to add on our little bow. And then lastly, the purple fine shimmer gems. We're going to use a few of these little babies on here. I kind of just sprinkled them around on the card. Just kind of added a little bit of fun, a little bit of sparkle and color. I love doing that, right? So you guys can see there's a um, pretty standard layout, I think, that I tend... Oops, that one, I thought it was going the other way. That I Well, or kind of, you know, I always use a little ribbon. I always use some bling. And as my good friend Linda Danis says, bling is king. <laughs> I thought that was so cute. I think she commented on that. I'm like, oh, I got to write that down because I really like that. <laughs> Bling is king. You're right, Miss Linda. All right, ladies. So make sure if you would like to order through me that you use this host code. You will get both of these projects that I demonstrated today as a thank you for your order. Your name is going to go in the drawing to win this fun, so cute, right? Carnival Treats stamp set. And you also get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, right? Or the free embellishment for February. So thank you guys so much for watching today. Um, tell me who you're rooting for too. I meant to ask you guys that, but I feel like I've talked so much. So I am going to root for the San Diego Chargers. Is that right? Is that? No, San Francisco. <laughs> no, that's, I know why I'm thinking of that because that's where Jim Harbaugh is going to the San Diego Chargers. So maybe I'll be rooting for them next time if they make it to the Super Bowl. But this time I'm going to root for San Francisco 49ers because they beat our Lions and we're very sad here in all of Michigan. The Lions aren't playing football on Sunday. So, all right, have a great weekend. Happy Super Bowl weekend. Happy Valentine's Day. We'll be back here two weeks from today for our next Facebook Live. Bye, everybody, and thank you so much for hanging out with me today.